Hello, I'm Staff Sergeant Thibodeau, 15 Tango Black Hawk Mechanic, Door Gunner Crew Chief. And this is the equipment that I use as a 15 Tango. Let me show you the LC gear. On your left side, you're gonna have your life support equipment. In the back, you have your gauze pad and this back zipper here. In the front, you'll have medications where you normally are where you normally are deployed. <clears throat> and you also have a fire starter kit. On your right side, you have your signaling device. You have your strobe light, whistle, panels, mirror, compass. On the front of your gear, you have a monkey tail. This is so you can tether into the aircraft without a seat belt if you're doing hoist operations, if you're doing external load operations, or if you're doing jump missions, anything like that in the, in the case where you need to move around the aircraft. This whole LC vest is actually an extraction device. These little yellow lines here are rated for up to 5,000 pounds, so I can actually be pulled out of an aircraft with somebody attached to me. This is your flashlight. I keep it on the right side. This is where you keep the other end of the extraction device to be pulled out, of, pulled out of sticky situations. On the left side of the shoulder harness, you have a tourniquet face down so you can pull it out, so somebody can pull it out because if you need this tourniquet, it's for yourself. On this side, we keep extra straps for securing reasons, uh, for tethering reasons, stuff like that. This is your survival radio pouch. <clears throat> we carry the C cell. There's other survival radios, but this is the pouch that goes in. Other mandatory piece of equipment uh, pouch that needs to go on here. Outside of the uh, pouches that I've named, everything is interchangeable. You can put them wherever you want. You can put them on. You can put them not put them on. I also have uh, two magazine pouches for the M4. I don't carry an M4, but I I can't fit four magazines of my M17 in there. And now moving on to the helmet. In the front is where your MVGs go. There's a little button right here that allows you to release it up and down and take it off. Leading up to that, you have the plug-in for the MVG battery pack. The battery pack is what gives the MVGs power to turn on. This is your battery pack for the MVGs. You have your primary side, you have your alternate side. Helmet is also equipped to handle a C-burn mask. Here's the plug for the C-burn mask. You unplug that, disables the mic. Now you plug in, you, you put your C-burn mask on, plug your C-burn mask into this, you can now talk clearly in the C-burn mask. The helmet actually has two forms of hearing protection. We have this one, which is your CEPs. You, they go in your ears just like regular, regular uh, earplugs. And then this hangs out of the bottom of the helmet. I'll show you later what that looks like. And then you have your earmuffs on the inside that go over that. This then plugs into the back of the helmet. Now you're able to hear out of both ears. With just that, with this unplugged, you can only hear out of one ear. <clears throat> and you're not getting uh, a very good seal as far as uh, noise, because this thing makes a lot of noise. This is your mic that you talk into, and this is the wire that hooks up to your ICS system that's inside the aircraft that can speak to the entire aircraft to include the pilots and uh, if you need to transmit a uh, radio uh, message to anywhere else, whether it's the towers or our ground, whatever it is. And this also has two visors on it. So we have the option of being able to go clear lens, that's for nighttime if we're not flying with MVGs, or if you just don't want to wear sunglasses, it, it could be daytime, like a uh, cloudy day or something like that. Or we have the sunglasses lens. <clears throat> That is for when it's really bright and you don't wanna have a headache at the end of the day. This is the Maxwell Facial Shield. It 
it's been completely adjusted or uh, modified so that way that the, these little clamps here fits on here perfectly and all based on my head. The little rod goes in there, that clicks shut, the swing is closed, that clicks shut. Not only does this cut down the wind from getting in my face, but this also cuts down the noise for me to be able to talk to other people, as in the pilots, other crew in the aircraft. MVGs, I mean, you have your objective lens, you have your eyepiece lens. You have these two little ball bearings. You press in, this adjusts up and down, like I said, with the button. Press a button, goes down. Press a button again, it goes all the way up. Press a button, you can pull it off. And to counterweight, the MVGs, you need a weight bag. It goes on the bottom Velcro. So now this is sitting perfectly on my head straight rather than if this isn't on, this leans this way. If that isn't on, I have this on, it'll lean that way. This is our M17 9 mil. New standard issue. This is a holster that comes with the LC equipment. This is mandatory to carry on you in, in country. You don't have to have it on the LC vest. You can have it, it has four different configurations. This is the one I use that goes to the belt. This is the 240. In the aircraft, you have four directions you can fire in, but you only have a limited degrees that you can fire this in the aircraft. Facing up, you have one degree. Facing down, you have 90 degrees. Facing forward, you have 80 degrees. Facing back, you have 75 degrees. That's all to keep the aircraft safe. If your aircraft goes down, you need to egress this aircraft. This is not a, a standard way to shoot this gun on the ground with the bipods. Bipods are intended only for the Bravo configuration. So we need to get this out of the, that configuration. The way you could do that, there's a little lever right here. Pull up, the whole thing comes up nice and easy. There's a little bevel right here on the pin. You press the bevel in, press the pin in. That pops out nice and easy. Save the pin, you're gonna need that. Trigger mechanism slides right out once that pin's off. That's all that's holding it in there. New trigger mechanism. Slide it in. Press the bevel against the, the hole. And then you push it all the way through. The pin is now in and seated. <clears throat> this is your buttstock. This is a little spring loaded piece here. You press against this here, right below the iron sight. That lines up, falls right into place, and give a little click down. Now you want to do a functions check when you're on the ground, which is going to be the same thing as your functions check in the air. You want to pull the charging handle all the way to the rear. It is, it is an open bolt fired weapon, so that's why you do the functions check like this. It's on fire right now, because the only way you can charge it to the rear is if it's on fire. You switch it to safe. This is the only way you can use safe, is when the bolt's to the rear. You press the trigger, you get nothing, because it's unsafe. Switch it over to fire, grab your charging handle, press the trigger, ride the bolt to the front. <clears throat> now it's on fire, and it's working. You leave it on fire. In the aircraft, we leave it on fire. Leave the bolt to the forward because it's not gonna fire unless the bolt was to the rear. And that's how you egress. As far as us being 15 Tango mechanics, if we get in a, in a situation where we've gotta land as soon as practical, if we can fix the situation, we will have toolboxes on the aircraft. We will have some a little bit of parts on the aircraft. If there's something really quick that we can get out of there, get back to our home station, that's the purpose of us being on the aircraft. So we have to be multifaceted. We have to be able to do 
to operate this weapon, know what this LC gear is capable of and what we can do with it, know how to use our MVGs, know how to operate our crew serve weapons, not, I mean our uh, standard issue weapons, and we have to know how to work on this aircraft. We have to know how to diagnose this aircraft. We have to know how this aircraft's theory of operation works. 